Before they landed their TLC show Welcome to Plathville, the Plath family was the subject of a YouTube documentary that abounds with cringy moments, especially considering where the Plaths are at today. Though the Plaths started out as an ultra-religious, conservative family, by Welcome to Plathville season 4, they had changed tremendously. Kim even shocked fans by asking Barry for a divorce. As the couple move through with their split, they will have to figure out co-parenting the five children who are still living at home. Four of the Plath kids have already moved off the farm in Cairo, Georgia, and are learning to make their way in the world away from their family. Hassanna Plath declined to be involved with Welcome to Plathville and lives in Ohio with her husband. Ethan Plath married Olivia, and the two lived in Tampa, Florida for a time, before embarking on an extended vacation in Europe. Mariah Plath lived with Ethan and Olivia in Tampa, but now fans aren't sure where she resides. Mika Plath, meanwhile, moved to Los Angeles to pursue a modeling career. But these are all new developments, and five years ago the Plaths were very different. The Plath YouTube documentary showcases every family member, including their interests and musical abilities. But a major focus is on their religious beliefs and dedication to the idea of unity with God and within their family. Kim and Barry speak about their children enjoying their lives in Cairo and being happy with their family dynamic. However, as fans know, many of the Plath kids are still working through the trauma from their childhood. But despite the problematic elements of the documentary, there are many moments that make welcome to Plathville fans chuckle and cringe. The Plath family band Kim and Barry spend a lot of time during the documentary talking up their family's musical talent, but many fans aren't convinced that the kids are actually that talented. Just because you can form a band doesn't mean you should form a band, and the Plath's unexceptional secular music performances gave fans more second-hand embarrassment than inspiration. In the documentary, the Plath band looks like a Stepford version of the Von Trapp family, and their music leaves a lot to be desired. The Plath kids' discomfort many commenters on the YouTube video pointed out how odd the children seemed when they were interviewed. Perhaps it was just that before Welcome to Plathville they were not used to being filmed, but the kids definitely appeared to be uncomfortable as they were asked to talk about what they loved about their family. The children came across like hostages at gunpoint, especially because viewers now know how unhappy some of the kids were during their sheltered upbringing. My mom and dad are the best parents that are living on the earth, Hassanna chuckled nervously, and it seems highly likely that she was prompted to say that. Kim Plath joking about the older kids doing all the work one thing that Kim has been criticized for is how she parentified her older children and passed most of the housework and childcare off on the older Plath kids. So it's extra cringy to hear her joke about how Hassanna and the other children do all the cooking, cleaning, laundry. In this video it's pretty clear that second oldest Plath sibling Hassanna was doing the lion's share of the work around the house and indicates that underneath the rosy exterior portrayed in the documentary lies a toxic family dynamic. Barry Plath's failure to act like a normal human Kim and Barry were front and center in the documentary, acting as sort of on-camera narrators, which made it impossible not to notice how odd Barry's mannerisms and speech truly are. Many fans have joked that Barry seems like an alien attempting to mimic human behavior, and based on how Barry comes off in the video, those fans may be onto something. Between his strange pauses and inflection and oddly joking demeanor, there's always been something about Barry that feels off, and it's even more obvious in the Plath family documentary. Kim Plath's wild claims it's understandable that Kim would want to talk up her children and make the documentary interesting at the same time, but Kim gives several comments that sound 100% fake. While talking about Mariah, Kim claimed that her daughter has such a talent for music that one time she was singing in her sleep. Sure, there's sleep mumbling, but sleep singing? Doubtful. 
Kim also commented on her daughter Amber's love of math and claims the little girl once said, I would rather do math than eat cake. It's hard to believe that any child anywhere would ever make that statement. However, any baked goods in the Plath home were made with honey and not sugar, so perhaps the cake that Amber spoke of isn't very compelling. Talking about Ethan Plath's love of cars in Welcome to Plathville Season 4, Ethan confronted Kim about the trauma he is still working through from his childhood and how he wasn't prepared for the outside world. Specifically, Ethan pointed out that he never got a real education due to his subpar homeschooling. Ethan was truly put at a disadvantage, so it made fans cringe hard watching the documentary because Barry and Kim go on and on about Ethan's love for cars. Ethan's parents indulged his interests, though because they were the adults, it was their job to make sure he received a proper education, even if he was resistant to it. Barry Plath talking about the enemy after a sweet segment talking about their youngest daughter Mercy Plath, Barry takes a hard right turn and starts talking about the enemy. As a Christian the first understand that I have an enemy, Barry commented. The Bible calls him the prince of the power of the air Satan, and he is the one who doesn't like family. This train of thought is a massive tonal shift from the rest of the documentary, and it starts to feel a little cult-like. It's as if the Plath family lured viewers in with their sweet kids and then, wham, hit them in the face with dogma, and it's a true record scratch moment. The Plath family unity at times, it seems like this documentary was brought to you by the word unity, because Kim and Barry spout off about family unity throughout the entire video. The words family, unity, harmony even appear on screen at the beginning of the documentary as a sort of unofficial Plath family motto. But the focus on unity and togetherness has made this video age like milk, because at the end of Welcome to Plathville Season 4, the family is more divided than ever. There is a lot of unintentional humor to be found watching the Plath documentary, though it's likely no one is cringing harder at it than the Plath kids themselves. Source, Quiverful Documentary YouTube.